Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and what I have for you here is an interesting algebra challenge question, a little bit more sophisticated than just a problem. So let's go to take a look at the question. It says, why would you use the elimination method over the substitution method to solve a system of linear equations? Now, this type of question is designed to kind of really check for your understanding, you kind of your full comprehension of a particular topic, right? So you're going to have to be able to know these methods well so you can compare and contrast them. So hopefully, you know, uh, you can come up with a good answer. If you're taking uh, an Algebra 1 course or definitely like Algebra 2 or beyond, then you should be able to have the skills and knowledge to be able to answer uh, a question like this. Now, uh, you might be saying, well, I'll never see a question like this. Well, not so true. Uh, these type of questions, you know, these little bit more critical thinking type questions uh, show up in all sorts of exams and, of course, things like final exams as well. So if you think you can answer this question, put your answer into the comment section. There is no one exact way to answer this, but I'm going to show you uh, some of the elements that should be in your answer if you were to be, uh, you know, given full credit by most math teachers. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. And again, I just want to say that, um, or maybe I didn't say this initially, but this type of question would be appropriate for someone who would be taking like a first year algebra course, right? So if you're in pre-algebra, uh, you probably don't have, you know, um, you know, the experience yet or all the knowledge, you have all the instruction, but maybe so, who knows, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get right to it. So let's do a quick review about systems and I'm going to uh, answer the question. So when you are studying systems, basic systems of linear equations, two variable systems, and again, again I'm talking about like algebra one level mathematics, you're going to learn three primary techniques. The first is the graphing method, the substitution method, and the elimination. Sometimes that's called the linear combination method. Okay, So these are the three primary methods that you're going to be using when you solved a two variable linear system, something like this. So hopefully this makes sense. And if you're like, wow, I'm not even sure what a system is. Well, we're talking about solving uh, an equation, a system of linear equations like this, right? So we have two equations here that involve two variables, X and Y. We're trying to solve for the variable X and for the variable Y. Okay, so let's compare these two uh, uh, methods. So the first is, again, the elimination method uh, sometimes called the linear combination method. Then we also have the substitution method. So when would you want to use the elimination method over the linear combination uh, method? Well, this is a perfect example of when you would clearly uh, select this method over this method. So the name of the game when you're solving a two variable system is to eliminate uh, one of the variables, right? To create an, an equation where you have one equation with one variable. So hence, we have this uh, elimination method. What we're trying to do is to eliminate uh, one variable. Now, you could do that through substitution as well, but it's super easy to use the elimination method when you have two opposite terms, all right? So in other words, you can kind of describe this in all in, you know, words that make sense to you, but here is our first equation of the system. Here is our second equation, and you can see that the x terms are um, uh, the same thing, but they're opposite from one another, right? They're, they're identical, uh, except that one has a positive sign, one has a negative sign. When you have that kind of situation, this is where uh, you definitely want to use uh, the elimination method. Because what you can do, and this kind of comes to that other uh, description of the elimination method, it is what they call a linear combination, is you can combine these two equations. Okay, so in other words, you can add them up to create a new equation. And when you do that, we're going to just simply add up, uh, add down in a column manner. So 2x plus a negative 2x is zero. Okay, so the x uh, variable goes away. But here we're left with what? 3y plus a negative 1y. So that gives us 2y here is equal to 1 plus 6, of course, is 7. So now I have one equation I had uh, eliminated the x variable very easily 
Now I can solve for y, whatever y is equal to, whatever that value is. I could plug that up uh, into either one of these equations and solve for x. Okay, so this is a situation where you clearly want to use the elimination method. Okay, so uh, that's one way um, or one scenario. But let's go ahead and take a look at this situation. So this situation here, like, well, you know, notice I erased that negative sign. So these aren't, there's no exact opposites, but these are pretty close exact opposites right here, right? All I need to do is multiply this second equation by negative one or this first equation by negative one, and then I end up uh, creating um, uh, exact opposites, right? So I have 2x here and a negative 2x here. Again, it's going to be the easiest way forward to solve a system when it's kind of, you know, written in a way where it's super easy to create opposites. Now, I'm just kind of working with the x variable here, but it could be the y variable or, you know, you got a, b, uh, w, z. It doesn't make a difference. We're talking about two variable linear systems. Now, could you use the substitution method to solve um, uh, this system right here? Of course you could, right? But basically, you know, I want you to think about you know, the distance between A and B is always a straight line. That's the shortest <laughs> distance. So you want to look at uh, the problem at hand and take the most effective route. Uh, yes, you could use a substitution method, but that's like taking the long road to get to the same destination. And you might say to yourself, well, I don't mind because I just love the substitution method. Well, here's the deal. If you're taking a test, you only have a limited amount of time. Plus, uh, you know, your math teacher is going to want to see you, um, uh, you know, demonstrate an understanding in both techniques, right? They want you to learn both methods because uh, it's clear there's problem uh, situations where it's obviously clear to select one method over the other. Okay, so this is basically the answer to the original question. When would you use the elimination method over the substitution method when it's... Um, when you have a system, when you have either two variable terms of the same, the same variable are opposites, or you could create that situation very easily. Okay, so let's take a look at a situation where it's um, clear to use the substitution method. So let's go ahead and put this right here. We've got the elimination, a linear combination, and substitution method. So in this case, uh, if you just kind of scan, we don't see uh, any opposite uh, variables here. Uh, so that's number one. But number two, this equation is not kind of written in standard form. So typically in systems, you're going to have like uh, all your x's here, then your y's here, then it's going to be equal to some number. Now, in this case, we have x is equal to 4y minus 9. There's nothing wrong with this. So you can have a system like this. You don't have to feel compelled to move this 4y over to the other side of the equation. What you should see is that but this is a great opportunity to use the substitution method, definitely over the elimination method. So x is equal to, uh, we want to put some uh, parentheses around that, 4y minus 9. So this is what x is equal to. So again, the um, idea here is to write one equation in one variable. So what I can do is replace this x with 4y minus 9. So we can create a new equation. That would be 8 times 4y minus 9, we're substituting, i.e. the substitution method, this x with this expression here, because x and this are the same thing, plus 3y is equal to 1. Now I have one equation in one variable. Okay, so here I could solve for y, get that answer. Whatever that answer is, I'm going to plug in right up here to get my x value. Okay, so again, you know, the main idea of this video is to kind of compare and contrast these methods, right? So I could easily have uh, constructed this question to say, when would you use the substitution method over the elimination or uh, linear combination method? Now, there's going to be times where it's not going to be clear what to do, right? So here is an example of a system where, you know, if you look at it, we don't have opposites, okay? Uh, you know, the x's and the y's are not opposites. And, you know, we don't have... Uh, one of the equations solved for a variable. In other words, we want to have x equals something or y uh, is equal to something. So these would be obvious, uh, you know, situations where you would want to be thinking substitution method. So in this case, really, it's up to you whether you want, uh, you know, want to do the substitution method or elimination method. But here is another thing that I want you to think about. Okay, some of you out there just love one particular method. You might say, "Well, I love to always use the elimination uh, linear combination method." 
I don't like the substitution method. If you try to do all your um, uh, solve all your system problems using one method, that's going to get you in trouble because your teacher is going to want to see you, um, you know, uh, be able to solve a system using both methods because they know it's important that you know both methods. So you might have a problem like this where it says solve the system. And you can kind of just pick your method, and that's perfectly fine. Use the one that you uh, like better and you're more comfortable with. But your uh, teacher could also say something like, use the substitution method to solve this problem or use the elimination method to solve this problem. So you got to be kind of ready uh, for both um, uh, scenarios, right? So therefore, you have to practice and get really good at both the substitution and elimination uh, methods when it uh, comes to solving uh, systems of linear equations. Okay, so let me go and wrap this up. I'm going to be doing something a little bit new, especially for those of you that have been following me on YouTube. First of all, thank you very much. And I want to just talk about systems in terms of where you might be at in your study of a linear systems. A very, very important topic uh, in uh, mathematics. So typically, systems are introduced in pre-algebra. So if you're kind of new to this topic, and you're like, yeah, I'm, I need some review on it, then you might want to check out my pre-algebra course. I could do a basic introduction of systems. But if you really want a big step up in terms of your uh, learning about systems of linear equations, to include things like systems of inequalities, uh, system word problems, um, linear programming, and the like, check out my Algebra 1 course, right? It's a big, big step up from pre-algebra. And then in my Algebra 2 course, we do all that stuff in Algebra 1, plus we look at matrices. There's other techniques you can solve systems, things like Kramer's rule and inverse matrices are very complex. And then if you really want to get advanced, check out my uh, pre-calculus course. We solve uh, systems using all those other techniques, plus we solve uh, systems of uh, three variables and non-linear systems. Okay, so my math foundations course is just a quick basic course at that, that uh, basic mathematics uh, review. Uh, but for those of you that are in algebra and need to improve your you know systems or other algebra topics, these are the courses that you want to check out. Now uh, I want to um, kind of uh, throw out a special offer for um, all of you out there that are watching this video. So again, thank you very much. So I'm um, uh, having a limited time offer right now for 25% off my one year plans off these courses. So when you enroll in these uh, uh, major courses here, like pre-algebra, pre-calc, these are you know, full curriculum courses. So I offer one month and one uh, year plans. So right now for a limited time, you can get 25% off the one year plans. Just use this, uh, discount code YouTube 25. So at checkout, just type that in and you'll get your 25% off. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description below. Okay. So if you are really serious about improving your algebra skills and learning a lot about systems, then check out my full courses because it's really a step up from what I do on YouTube. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.